guys and welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be part two of my declutter series part one is going to be linked in the top line below so if you haven't seen that video press pause now and go and watch that video first that's me decluttering my whole wardrobe and one side of my room but today's video is going to be focused on my dressing table which i'm just sat at now obviously on the floor um i need to sort through both of my dressing room cupboards they are absolutely full to the brim and just a complete mess i've got loads of makeup to sort out that i don't use anymore that's expired out of date i need to clean all my makeup brushes and sort of just get everything together so that everything's easy to find because at the minute with moving um to work in sheffield but being at home as well i'm just finding that everything's getting in a bit of a pickle all the time so i'll show you in the cupboards first and then we'll show you what they're like once they're all done okay so this is cupboard one as you can see it is a complete mess in there so on the top shelf i normally have all my makeup and makeup brushes all nicely organized and on my bottom shelf i normally would have all my hair stuff put together um as you can see it's sort of like now but obviously it's just a mess everywhere then if i take you to the other cupboard so in this cupboard we've got my old jewellery box, um, my deodorant, some random photos, um, money, money jars, things like that in there. And then again on the bottom shelf I've got some perfumes, um, a basket that I sometimes keep all of my skincare in and some other bits at the back. So I also need to organise this huge bag of new in products that I've got. Um, if you haven't seen my new in haul, um, which is one of my most recent videos, then um, make sure you check that out because that's got all of these products in and a few other bits as well. Um, but yeah, I need to find homes for everything that is in there. Um, and I also need to just sort everything out. So let's start on cupboard one. I'm going to empty it all out and then we'll see what we've got in there. surrounding me and then I've got some bits on top as well and that's like my old jewelry box and bits I need to sort out so there is literally stuff everywhere so now I'm going to go through um, each section I think I'm going to start with going through makeup because that's probably the big section down here and then we'll move on so if I move anything out of the way that isn't makeup just for now and then we'll see how we go are being taken out and I'm going to use this new gadget that I got from Primark to make sure that they're all clean um, including my beauty sponge as well in the makeup bag. all of my makeup that I can find so far so what I'm going to do now is go through everything being anything that's old like this this is literally grotty I think you can see the foundation started to like separate inside the tube so anything like this I'm going to bin um, this is my current makeup bag it's one of them ones that like pulls together but look how grotty that is in there so what I'm going to do is just put anything that I don't want in there that needs to go in the bin and then I'm going to bin this whole thing but anything that I think my friends or family would like then I will keep that and then give that to them um, but I think most of it will be too old and it will just have to go um, these are my favourite ever bronzers 
So one of these is still quite full and one's basically gone. So I'm going to bin one of them. Yeah, so that one's basically gone now. So I'm going to bin this one because that's very, very old. And then I'm going to keep this one, but the lid's broke. Um, it was an amazing Clarins bronzer. You've probably seen me use that in my first ever YouTube video. I think I used that. So I'm going to keep that. Um, and once I've decided what I'm keeping and what I'm throwing, I'm going to clean up um, and put away anything that I'm keeping. Helping me. What are you doing? Hmm? Hmm? You help him? Okay. Okay, so I've just put temporarily all of my everyday makeup in this Kath Kidson Disney bag. Um, this isn't going to be for long term, but it's just handy. Everything's in there for now, except for my makeup brushes um, until I get sorted. This is my proper Sephora makeup bag. However, it's just too big to carry everything in that I wouldn't. And when I'm back and forth quite a lot, I just can't take this back and forth with me every time. So I'm going to use this one as a bag for all of my spares. Um, that's the plan anyway. And then in here, I hope you can see that okay, is all of the rubbish. So I'm just going to tie all this together. I did really, really like this makeup bag, just for the ease of it, just opening fully out. But it just got too messy with all my makeup products just being on a white canvas. So that is for the bin. None of it was good enough to give to anyone because it was all just a little bit too old. Okay then, so next up is skincare. And as you can see again, we have got a lot of products to be honest i don't know where all of these products come from i know i've just bought a lot because that was in my recent haul video all of the skincare i got but a lot of this is just stuff i've collected and haven't necessarily like finished off bits and bobs of so we're going to go through all this now um see what i want see what i'm just going to use up um like put first to use up and get rid of um and then go from there <laughs> So I think all of that is mostly sorted. So we've now got a box of extras. Sorry about the barking, it's Lola. So we've got a box of extras which have um, some new products in, some ones that I just need to finish off while I'm at home. Then I've used this tiny um, box that had some um, makeup remover pads in. Um, and just put all my little sample sizes in there just so that they're all in one place and might like all falling around and instead of putting skincare back into the cupboard over there i'm actually going to be putting skincare oh hello hello what's up what are you doing my monkey chops what are you doing beautiful girl see you in a bit bye that like I was saying I'm actually going to be putting my skincare into this cupboard here with my makeup because obviously you put your makeup on then you take your makeup off so that is how I'm going to do that so that cupboard is looking good so spare makeup actual makeup this is going to be a bag for my brushes this is going to be a pot for the rest of my brushes and my setting sprays then on the bottom shelf as I've said we've got extra skincare and then we've got nail bits and then extra makeup wipes 
um, and then a couple of bits in front. And then now we're going to move on to hair. Um, I've got quite a lot of hair bits and pieces. Um, things I don't actually do a lot with my hair at all. Okay then, so I'm now in the very poorly lit bathroom. Um, but what we're going to do now is start cleaning the makeup brushes. We have got quite a few makeup brushes to go through and this is just how dirty they are. How embarrassing is that? Just look, some of these haven't been cleaned in a long, long time. I'm also going to be cleaning out this little um, perfume holder. So it holds different perfumes in, but this one's been in here such a long time that I thought I'd change it out, give it a rinse and then pop in something different. It's just in a little travel case like that. now actually really not looking too bad in the cupboard so we'll just see if there's any bits left to do this is how much rubbish i have got out of this room nearly a full river island bag of things that i don't want or can't use anymore okay then so the last thing to do is show you inside the cupboards now that they are all done so this is cupboard one so like i said we've got all of the makeup bags and bits up there and then we've also got all of my cleansing and toning extras and nail bits like that and some masks at the back. And then for cupboard two, this one actually looks still a little bit messy, but it's not, it's like organized mess. So at the very back in the white box there, we've got some jewelry that needs to be put in um, my jewelry box here, but I'm waiting for the larger component to come of that. So that's just why that's at the back in there. We've got some hand cream here, just so it's on hand. Got some hand sanitizers I found. I've put here all of my cleanser and toner that I use every night, just cause I thought that was easy access. Then I've got all of my perfumes and deodorant and then just a little coaster with all of my little perfumes on and a little hair bubble. And on the bottom shelf, we have got all of my hair boxes at the back. So what my straighteners came in and all bits like that. Then I've got my dry shampoo and the Ted Baker bag in the middle here. Um, that is just full of scrunchies, hair accessories, anything like that is in there. Then I've obviously got my hairbrush, which is the GHD paddle brush. Then I've decided to put all of my sunglasses in here and um, I've got a few random bits like a little watering can at the back for my cacti. So that is that. Then if we move up, we have got this side. So you'll see this when I'm filming. The filming setup is normally something like this here. Um, so we've got my cacti, my lamp, and then I've just got these few bits from the Y Company, my favourite pieces, out on display at the moment. So if we move on from there to the other side, then you've just got the TV and the skybox and bits. And then in the middle here, we've got my jewellery box. These are the two bits that also don't fit in, but I wear them nearly every day. So I've left them out, but yeah, I'm just waiting for the large component and that's going to go on the very bottom. Okay, so that is the end of today's video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Um, this is the end of my declutter series for this time. Um, I'm sure it will need doing again soon enough though. Um, if you have enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up just to show that you've enjoyed the video. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.